Welcome to the Malik Shaheed Show. It's about to go down. We are backstage of the Sean Paul Show, and I'm with the one and only Samantha J. How you doing yo, today? Yo, I'm great. I'm great. I mashed up the show today, so well, you, you don't know. Of course you mashed it up. <laughs> yes, yes. So tell us a, a little about your influences, because you have different styles. Tell us about your influences. Actually, Sean Paul has been an influence to me since I was a little, little girl, because okay. I'm 19. Yes. So artists that are big now yes. and have been doing it for like 10 20 years yes. those are like my biggest influences in jamaica because i grew up in jamaica listening okay. to like michael jackson celine dion then it goes to shaggy then it goes to red rat sean paul so i have like a bunch of different influences okay. and that whole heap of difference is what make my music a mix a melting pot of dancehall reggae pop. Okay. Okay. I did the cheerleader remix Omi. with Omi. So big up my youth, Omi. Thank you so much. That did very well. So, so, so did you know? Did you know Omi beforehand? Uh, no. Okay. I've met him at one show in the beginning when I just released my first single, Tight okay. Skirt, um, in Cayman Islands, and it, I was honored to meet him because before he blew up, actually, yes. I loved his music, okay. and I, I knew cheerleader word for word. Wow. And then when he started pushing it. All over again, like three years later, wow. under three Sony. Years later. Yeah, under wow. Sony, like it blew up. Okay. And I decided, yo, I have to jump on this. Okay. Yeah. I saw you on stage two nights in a row. It's a big, big stage. You're all there alone. Yeah. Tell us about your whole influence in terms of your dancing, your choreography, your vibing. Tell us about where all it comes from. Well, it's all about fun to me. It's all about okay. enjoying it, interacting with the crowd, making yes. sure the crowd is happy and dancing and okay. waving their hands. Because that's why they came here, you know, to enjoy the show. Okay. So you give them a good show. I mean, I love to dance. I love to sing. Yes. So I just go up there and enjoy myself and make sure we give the crowd what they want and what they need. Okay. Yeah. So what's the, what's the vibe you're feeling about Canada? Whoa. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool. It's so... Well, you, you already know this. Yeah, is Canada. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't get used to it because okay. Jamaica is... There isn't a winter, really. Like, <laughs> yes, true, true, yeah, true, true. but... Canada is amazing. I mean, we're in Montreal right now. Yes. Did Quebec yesterday. We're just touring the whole place with Sean. Um, mad, it. mad. <laughs> yeah. Let's talk about your first single, please. Uh, tight Skirt, actually. Yes. Um, I released it about three years ago yes. when I just started. And so, yeah, I met Omi as well. Okay. Um, when I released it in Jamaica, first single ever, it blew up. It, it was on top of the charts, number one, like for like six weeks in Jamaica, and then it leaked out into the Caribbean okay, nice. and got a lot of love. And then it started going crazy in Africa. I did one interview on Skype, and all of a sudden, it's the biggest oh. thing in Africa. The Malik Shahid Show. It's about to go down. Damn.